It is National Safe Boating Week, and in South Florida, spending the day on the water on a boat is a way of life. We're also approaching one of the deadliest weekends for Florida boaters. It's Memorial Day, one of the busiest as well. While Governor Scott just signed legislation to try to cut down on boating accidents, there's always more we can do to stay safe when we're on the water. Joining me this morning is Liz Schmidt, the Director of Community Water Safety for the YMCA of South Palm Beach County. Thank you for joining us this yeah. morning. It's so we just think it looks like so much fun to just get on a boat, but there's a lot more to operating a boat than meets the eye. What are some of the laws in place to keep boaters safe? Yeah, definitely. It's very important um, that everyone have a life jacket on board for every single person that fits and is in working order. And children need to be wearing life jackets when they're on a boat. That's the best way to keep them safe. Children under the age of? Children under the age of six are required by law to be wearing a life jacket on a boat under 26 feet in length. However, it's highly recommended that children, no matter what length of boat that they're always wearing a life jacket when on board. Well, sometimes rocky waters, a boat can start rocking and someone, anyone can go over Definitely. very quickly. I always tell people there's no shame in any age to put on a life jacket. Absolutely not, really absolutely isn't. not. It keeps you safe, I'll yep. tell you. Okay, so what else besides life jackets for children can parents think about telling their kids if they're going out on a boat to keep them safe when a dangerous situation comes yeah, up? Yeah, definitely. Uh, kids should not be hanging over the edge, feet or arms over the edge of the boat. They should have all hands and legs inside. Also, um, to stay um, inside the boat during operation and parents need to watch their kids all the time when you know, they're on the water. You, you brought up a good point. I always get so nervous when I'm on the water and you see kids on the front of a boat as it bangs and bangs and mm -hmm. you think, Again, you hit that one crazy wave and yep. somebody goes flying and they Correct. don't have a life jacket on. Right. It's an instant, a day on the water that's supposed to be so much fun instantly turns horrible. Yeah. What, what about if you're in trouble? What are some ways to improve your chances of having the right calling equipment and to protect your calling equipment? Definitely. So the first thing you want to do is file a float plan. That's as easy as sending a text message to a trusted family or friend on shore, where you're going, what time you think you're going to be back, um, and then having a cell phone or even a radio, a VHF radio on the boat. Um, in the event of an emergency, you can call and get help. Making sure that your cell phone is protected with a waterproof case, um, which the, you can find those at many retailers, um, anything from a life-proof brand or mm -hmm. any type of case and having that on board. What about a, uh, a radio? Yep, so radios, most radios you receive um, on boats are water resistant or waterproof. Um, so making sure that everybody on the boat, all adults know how to operate that radio. If one person, who the only person that knows how to work the radio, something happens, um, then, then there's the trouble, so making sure everyone knows how to use it. And we just had a story this morning on our partner station, Fox 29, that some of those cases, the cheaper ones, are actually very effective for the protecting your mm -hmm. cell phone. Yes. So it's not like it's a cost prohibitive nope. type thing to do to protect nope. yourself. Nope. Okay, so weather changes in a minute it in does. South Florida. It does. What do you do if you're on the water in a boat and you've got a nasty situation that comes Definitely. up? Definitely. So knowing the weather before you go out, of course, um, checking the forecast before you leave is very important, and then always keeping a, a lookout. If the weather looks like like it's bad, know where to go, know those safe ports that you can go into, where you're boating, um, and getting to shore as quickly as possible is the most important thing. There's a number of great ideas and suggestions for us to keep everybody safe. Remember, you can also have that Storm Shield app with you all the time to check the weather as well, and marine radios will yes. get you alerts as well very yeah. quickly. Thank you, Liz. Yeah. Thank everybody you. Stay safe and have fun on the water.